subdivision. Setting up a new project. Firstly, we're going to create a new project called subdivision in the survey training area. We select new. We browse up to the survey folder and type in the project name subdivision. and select new. In this project we won't be using the setup project details panel or the recap panel. We'll be constructing the subdivision in plan view 1. To begin we will create the front and back boundaries for the lots. Firstly we're going to create the surround using a Travis option. We select the option survey, extras, bearing distance entry. We're going to type a model name for the surround. We're going to change the colour. At this stage we'll just change it to say magenta. The point numbers at this stage will be none. And our start point, if we pick on the icon, we're just going to type in 1000 space 5000 and press enter. We're not going to be using Z values in the surround and we can type in the bearing and distances around the lot. So these are as per the training manual. So 284.4350 enter so you press enter to move between the fields, 31, enter, and so on. So when all the lines have been typed in, we select process. And if we turn on the model surround, we should see the shape. Just zoom into the end and just check the bearing and distance of the misclose. So we use the measure bearing distance flyout toolbar icon and we pick on the last point we typed in and we pick on the close point and you'll see we've got a misclose of one millimeter. So we can select finish here and finish on the Travis panel. Okay, we're just going to now close the string so we use the CAD string toolbar and the first one out is close and pick and accept on the surround string. So the surround string now is going to be duplicated into a new model called boundary and this new model will be used in the subsequent lock calculations. So we select the option strings, strings edit, duplicate. We'll type in a new name, BDY, new model name, BDY and a new colour, and we'll just make it say red, click start, pick on the string and accept. Now we'll turn off our model surround and turn on the model boundary. To help with the future calculations we need the boundary string to actually be open so to do this we go to our CAD string toolbar and the second icon out is open and we just pick the boundary string and accept. 